What's up, divas? So, you guys, this video is going to be kind of like a part one and a part two. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to combine them together, let it do what it do. I did get to pick out something really different from samsbeauty.com. You guys know how much I love that website. They got crazy wigs on there ponytails bangs you name it they have like a lot of stuff but for those of you guys who want to get like a weave like you know a sewing honey or you want to make your own wigs you can definitely check on over to samsbeauty.com they got closures they got frontals they even got this right her okay but this is my trusses and this is the black label okay this is a frontal and it's also some bundle hair so i'm gonna just take it out of this bag by outtrade this is the natural black and this is their black label so this is really like super cheap on sam's beauty and i was like shocked because you don't even have to go to like aliexpress or like any type of bundle or hair weaving boutique you can definitely go on sam's beauty and get this you can also get frontals you can get basically whatever you want okay this one here is the natural body wave natural black and it comes with three bundles of 20 18 and 16 there also are other lengths as well and then you have 13 by 4 frontal i'm not really sure what the length of the frontal is because it doesn't say on the actual packaging because it only lists the actual length of the um hair bundles one it is virgin hair it is natural unprocessed hair this is 10 plus quality grade bundle hair as it says you can bleach dye and customize it to your liking it is premium 100 percent unprocessed human hair this is the frontal okay this one is a little bit different that i am noticing now uh, than most okay because it does have like some dips and curves in the back area opposed to like it being normally straight across this may be a little bit challenging to sew but it also comes with an elastic band already sewn on it the hairline is as normal you know what I'm saying it is not pre tucked pre-plucked or pre tweed so hunties you will definitely have to do that on the unit i would suggest bleaching this baby first and then going ahead and pre pre-plucking the hairline this frontal is not like abundance in hair it's a little bit on the thinner side but the hair is super soft um i'm just a little concerned about the way the frontal was you know made because once you get used to something you get used to it and you guys can see how it looks right there but i'm gonna try my best to these do. bundles are soft as heck but they also have the closures. They have the three by six inch deep lace closures. I don't really like those ones too much because those are the ones where you can only part it in the middle and then they have the stitching all over it. Then they have the four by four, four by four inch closures, which also come with the elastic band. And then they have the 13 by four ear to ear lace frontal closures. These are actually super affordable on Sam's Beauty. They not only have this one, but they have other brands as well and other textures as well as that. So I'm liking this. And plus, it's not so much coins, okay? So you guys, let's continue on with this video. So loves, this is how the unit came out, um, the frontal. It wasn't that hard to create. I thought it was going to be a task, but it actually came out good, you know what I'm saying? Um, the one thing that I did notice with this frontal is they sewed the actual elastic on the outside instead of the inside of the frontal as you guys see right here so I ended up having to remove that after I made it so let's get started I really don't do this too much on camera so right here it's kind of uncomfortable for me to sew it like this so what I do is I'll take the needle as you guys see right here and I will put it through the thread okay and I'm just going to pull it through the thread as you see and I'm making sure to hold the end with the knot so that way the knot is right where I need it and I'm going to take the needle again and I'm going to put the thread around it but I'll go a little bit slow so you can guys see it again okay and I'm just going to pull it so and I will go slower in the next portion of the video. I thought it was this portion, but you got to see. So as you guys see right here, I'm just taking the thread and wrapping it around. So basically what I do to make it knot is I take the needle and I take the thread underneath, as you guys see right here, and I wrap it around and then over either twice or three times. And that's what I basically did at the end to secure it. And that makes it a lot easier. That will give you a secure knot, especially for the end, so that way it can lay much flatter. So that is what I do when I'm doing the fold over method so that the ends of the folded portion can be super duper flat. And also I'll do that just to knot it 
at the ends also even if it isn't the flip over method method i'll do that um i do apologize for like the quality of the video meaning um basically i look a little my my mannequin is a little shaky or whatever but you know i need to get something steady because this is just a tripod that i have it on i normally just put the wig on my lap and so so it's a little bit awkward for me right now and I'm trying my best <laughs> to do it on camera. So as you guys see, I'm just going ahead and I already did the flip over method and I just secured the needle and thread like I showed you guys. So what I do is I take the needle and I go underneath the needle with the thread right there and over the top of the pointed portion. And I do apologize if it's going so fast. I'm gonna order a um, wig stand, kind of like a wig tripod so that way I can make it on camera for you guys a lot easier because this was so uncomfortable for me to make it. Not uncomfortable showing it, but just to be able to sew it, I felt so awkward creating this wig like that because, like I said, I always sit down and make the wig. So either I'm going to have to figure out a way to angle the camera different so that way you guys can see me sewing it, but you know, we'll get through this. It's really super easy to make a wig, um, you know. The hair is great, you know. Um, I wish I would have known prior. But this is another, this is the method here. Okay, I'll show you guys much, much slower. So you wanna take the needle and you wanna take the thread underneath the needle and just wrap it around the top three times. And that will make a nice knot and it will also make the fold over portion lay so tight and snug. And this here, I'm just pulling the thread needle through the thread um i forgot what i was gonna say but okay so yeah so the hair i did use like almost all the hair i wish i would have doubled up on the tracks because had i known the wig was going to be like thin like this i would have just like basically folded my tracks in half so that we actually have used it all but you know you live and you learn um I do think the hair quality of the bundles is great, you know what I mean, especially for the fact that it's bundles and you'll get so much. You'll get like a whole entire kit for like really, really cheap, which is great, especially for those of us who are on a budget. So I really think that it's great. I'm not like a huge fan of the frontal and I will explain to you guys why, but I do like the bundles. Um, if you want to use them all, you definitely want to double up on the tracks or sew them really, really close. I think I did sew them as close as possible, but, you know, I was kind of pressed for time, and had I known, it would, I would have used just doubled up on the tracks. But, you know, for the most part, it came out well. The knots did not lift in the actual frontal. Even after using Dirty Developer, I did use the Dirty Developer, and the knots did not lift. So we're almost done creating this wig. I didn't really think you guys wanted to see this from start to finish because it would have taken forever to show you guys all of that. Um, yeah, I would have really been speeding through. But um, and I would have really super. I would have been really super uncomfortable. This portion I'm sitting down, as you guys can see. This is where I'm sitting down and I'm sewing a wig. So this is where I'm comfortable, and this is how I normally make a wig on a daily basis. So I'll take the thread here, and as you guys see, I pulled it from underneath and just wrap it around. And that's how I do it with the ends. And, I mean, it, it makes the best knot, you know what I'm saying? And this is like the ladder method or the stair step method. I don't really know what you guys call this method, but I just hold the thread and pull it through. And this is the very last portion of um, the unit right here. And this is, you know, right up to the frontal. So, you guys, I hope you enjoy, like, this really speedy, speedy tutorial. Um, had I been more comfortable, I would have definitely made it a lot longer but you guys get the gist of it the hair quality is great it's super affordable sam's beauty has a lot of different things that you can buy i love the fact that you can get a whole entire kit and make yourself a nice wig instead of having to spend like a whole bunch of money for the same quality here the frontal is just a little bit off but other than that you know the hair quality is amazing and i would highly suggest it all right you guys so i did finish making the wig um and it came out okay i did bleach the knots in it but they look a little still, a little black and speckled in some areas. Now, this wig was kind of difficult to make just because of the way that it was shaped, as you guys seen. So it did come out like this. I did use like an adjustable wig cap, you know what I mean, with the hooks in it. I did leave the ear tabs kind of like on it just to keep it secure. Frontals are a little bit thinner than most, and I really didn't pl uh, pluck too much, just a little bit on the hairline. And this was not all of the hair, but mostly all of it that I could fit on the cat. 
had I known it was going to be like this thin, I would have doubled up on the hair, but I just wanted to make it look realistic as possible. You know, it came out decent. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and style it. It just was driving me crazy honestly like i don't really think like the hairline is the best for this particular hair like the hair bundles are great as long as you condition them you know what i mean but for the hairline i'm not like a really huge fan of the frontal actually so it's the frontal that i'm not really a big fan of because for one it's not as thick as most frontals like there's not a lot of hair ventilated on it so it's thin and if you're tweezing away too much i guarantee you it's probably going to be bald 
I did bleach it, but it really didn't take well to the bleach. I'd probably have to use like 40 developer. And at that moment in time, I just really wasn't into it. So I just left it as it is. It's to be beauty supply store here. I would say I do like the hair texture. Um, I would definitely buy the hair bundles, but as far as the frontal, I'm definitely going to pass on the frontal because I just don't want, like the way it was constructed, but I get it. They're trying to make it look like an actual wig that you know what i'm saying like a lace front wig like a synthetic lace front wig so i get that part it was really easy to construct like create but i wanted to try like a whole kit basically so that way if you guys do want the option of just like getting it all in one for a lot cheaper then you can definitely check out sam's beauty for that but you know i mean like it's not that bad the frontal like okay it's affordable for one, so that's a plus. And you can work with it. You can definitely work with it. You probably would have to go in and do like a 40 developer with your bleach to bleach the knots because it is virgin hair. So, I mean, I would suggest that. It doesn't look bad. You just have to definitely work on it and style it to your ability. But, you know, the hair texture is great. And I'm just going to use the Aussie because I like Aussie for like the hair styling. I do like pump it up for the lace wig. Okay. Like the lace wig laying, but to fluff the hair up and give it some volume, I'm definitely going to use my favorite, which is one of my favorites, which is the Aussie instant freeze. But for the most part, like it was a cool experiment. Um, you know what I mean? I've never used like a beauty supply store frontal before so it was a great experiment would i try it again i definitely would you know what i'm saying because it's affordable and you know who doesn't like affordability like for real um like i said you can definitely make your way around the wig and wear it like in a different way and as you guys see here this is how i decided to wear it because like i said i wasn't like a huge fan of the frontal so i decided to wear it this particular way kind of like swooped over a little bit and brushed back so that way it's not so noticeable and i do have like a little baby hairs right there but you guys let me know what you think of this unit i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was not too long for you and all that jazz and i hope you guys like the new backdrop and i decided to wear my new york shirt with it because it's nowhere like new york you know it's no place like new york as you guys know that's where i'm from queens new york so yeah so i love you guys make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up and share with all your friends and family and social media all the links down below will be provided for you all the links will be down below in the description box for like provided for you and um you can visit samsbeauty.com for all of your beauty needs i love you guys stay deep and deep delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe and i'll see you guys on the other side